Hey guys, make sure you stand till the end. If you make one common mistake, you may end up spending hundreds, even thousands of dollars on parts and diagnostics you don't need. Make sure you stand till the end. We will explain what we are talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Chevy Tahoe or Suburban. This generation right here from year 2006 to year 2014. If you guys have one of those and if you need to find where the trunk fuses are located, which fuses you need to check up to two fuses in two different fuse boxes, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time. And why it's important guys to always test fuses and relays, all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience, make sure you stay until the end. So before we start, let us tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have a Chevy Tahoe or Suburban, practically they are built on the same platform. We will be making a video about every single fuse relay in that SUV. Why? Because let's say you're down the road, you need to find where the fuse for fuel injectors, fuel pump, ignition coils is located. That way you can fix your SUV and be back on the road. We will have that information. You'll just spend a minute or two watching the video, fix it and it will take care of that problem. Now, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them guys completely apart. We show you how to do engines, transmissions, mechanical, body work, and we have more than 12,000 free repairs on our YouTube channels that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. In addition guys, if you need to buy any parts, tools, fuses, relays at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money and time, we will put the links in the description of the video below for your convenience. So let's start on it now. So the trunk fuses, where you can expect to find them guys? Okay, we will demonstrate on that generation Chevy Tahoe here. Chevy Suburban is practically the same, just a longer vehicle. They're built on the same platform. We have three different fuse boxes and today we'll need to work on two of them. First one is on the driver's side, open the door. Now on the side of the dash, you have a cover right here. Pop that cover open and behind it you'll find a fuse box with a layout that will look just like this one right here. But before we continue, let's explain why it's important to always test fuses and relays. So now why it's super important guys to test fuses and relays because often you may think you have a good fuse right but uh, it could be guys a bad fuse sometimes it's really hard to tell it's hard to see you have different kinds of fuses and each one of those guys it, let's say you think it's a good fuse but it's actually bad you may end up spending time money on parts and uh, repairs that you don't need so always test fuses it takes only uh, a few seconds we'll put a link to a special video that will teach you how to test fuses and how to test relays as well relays are easy to test uh, that way you can eliminate that possibility for something uh, that uh, that's not necessary guys so check out the links will be in the description of the video below here guys for the trunk we need to check one fuse then we need to go to a different fuse box and check another one that fuse that we need to check it goes the numbers go like that a little bit confusing one two three then you come here four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Fuse number 20 is the one that you need to check for the turn, guys, right there. Now, uh, you may have another one that's under the hood. Pop the hood open. Facing the engine on the right side, you have a fuse box under this cover here. Once you open it, here you may need to check another fuse, and we're talking about fuse number 44. It will be that fuse that we are missing here guys you may have this one depending on the year model and option list hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time